What's up guys, Dan back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the fill and clone command inside MCP. So these two commands are really similar because they both involve coordinates and uh, to start off you're definitely going to need to see where your coordinates are. Uh, so there are many ways to show your coordinates. One way is to go into settings and then scroll down to where it says show coordinates right under friendly fire. If you enable that you'll get uh, a bar of text on the left side that shows your coordinates. Um, if you don't like that bar and just would rather not have extra text on your screen, what you can do is do slash spawn point, and that will also allow you to see your coordinates. And they're going to just differ by one number uh, because the spawn point is going to be the bottom half of your body, and the current position is going to be the top half. So they're just going to be diff off by one number, but that number is really not that significant when it comes to fill and clone commands because we are going to be... Uh, doing stuff with a lot of blocks instead of just one or two. So that difference is basically insignificant. Uh, so first we could start off with the fill command and we're going to need coordinates so I guess we could just start off with this set of coordinates. Um, I'm going to have to write this down because you're going to need for the fill command you're going to need uh, at least two coordinates and the clone command you're also going to need at least two coordinates uh, maybe even three. So for here what we're going to want to do is just imagine a cube in front of us, and that is going to be the spot we want to fill. Uh, so you're going to need two coordinates for this cube. The first coordinate set is going to be the bottom uh, corner of the cube, and the second one is going to be the top corner of the cube. And when you connect these two coordinate pairs, or set of coordinates, uh, you should be able to create a cube. Um, and it might be hard to imagine, especially since there's nothing on screen, so it's just like blank right now, uh, but maybe if I show you guys what happens, uh, it would be more clear. So I'm just going to write down these new uh, coordinates, and then what we can do is by using those uh, two sets of numbers we just got, I can do slash fill, uh, and then let me just enter those numbers, and uh, these are the coordinates, but when you enter them in your uh, command, uh, you don't need any commas to separate them. After that, uh, you will just enter what you want to enter. So for example, if I do TNT, it will fill that section with TNT. So now it might become a little bit more clear as to what those numbers mean. The first number that we got right here is going to represent the bottom of this cube. The second number we got over here is going to represent the top of the cube. Once you connect these two coordinates, you should be able to get a cube or another 3D structure. And that's basically what it does. It's basically encompassing that range of numbers that you have gotten, and it's filling that range of numbers. Uh, so instead of using six coordinates, which a cube basically you think have, uh, it really uses two. Uh, so now that we have this, we could use the clone command. And the clone command is really similar uh, in that it also uses the coordinates. So let's just get another set of coordinates. So for the clone command, the first two coordinates are going to be the structure itself from the bottom to the top. And then the third coordinate is going to be where you want to clone that uh, structure. So if we want to clone that, uh, trying to escape that, if we want to clone that set of TNT over here, we can get the coordinates of where we are right now. So, or actually, we already had that since we had coordinates enabled. So I'm just going to write down uh, that number. And now we have three sets of numbers. So what we're going to do to clone it is going to do slash clone. And then the first uh, two set of coordinates are going to be the structure itself. So from the bottom to the top, encompassing the entire structure. The last three numbers are going to be where you want to place that structure. So now we have all three numbers. If I do that, I will have cloned that set of TNT over here. Now, as you can see, this is floating off the ground by just one. And that's because when I use the spawn point, um, or whichever most recent uh, coordinate set I just used, it was based off the uh, height of my head. So it was actually going to skip the level on my feet. Uh, so that's just one thing to note. Uh, but other than that, that's basically how you use both commands, the clone command and the fill command. 
Now, if that still was not uh, extremely clear, because the first time people use these commands, it might be a com bit confusing, I will also link my individual tutorials on these commands in the description below, so you guys can see an extra example of how both of these work. Uh, but other than, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.